Today is step 2 of welding the solar arch. Welcome aboard our home, a custom built aluminum sailboat sailing into the unknown. This is us, Odette and Timo and of course our much loved cat Milo. Come and sail with us and explore the adventure together. Please subscribe below. So we stole the original, we stole the design from this boat. As you can see over here. Uh, you can see those, uh, yeah, it's attached to the railing as well. And it goes up and up and up. And you see the, the corner parts over here. And we try to recreate this uh, piece. So I made these drawings before we ordered the stainless steel tubes. So as you can see uh, over here, this is the top view of our boat. So this is the view from the side of the original design. So this was uh, step two, measuring all the sizes. Uh, this was uh, we, our original plan was to make this. This, this space between those bars 70 centimeters but we ended up with like 40 because this uh, was much better looking so uh, after that I made some uh, additional designs this is another one of the uh, drawings and then I calculated the sizes of all these poles and then uh, I calculated the lengths and the corners and this is what I uh, then ordered at the store. But um, actually what, I've, what I learned was that you can never ever uh, adjust sizes on boats. And also I ordered these poles with a thick thick of 33.6 or something. But these are 30. And then something strange happens. So on top of this 30 33 this one is bigger than this one so we always have a gap over here so I probably next time I would order the same size as the top of my uh, bar and also looks are really really important on the boat so uh, on several occasions we step just step out of the boat and then have a quick look on how it still looks can be sometimes a bit weird from a certain angle. Yeah, well, still the best uh, arch in the world. Today, step two, step two, today, step two of welding the solar arch with the secret welder, the unknown welder. So, first day, this is how far they got. Yeah, so, first day of part two. After dinner, it was time to start working again.
This goes over here. And this is a banana. The banana shape by hand. This is day two, part two. So this is how far they got yesterday. This one is still wood, but the other one is not. And that one is not. So, so there's a lot already done. Does it fit? Yes, perfect. I think they're doing an amazing job. How is it going? We're doing well. I'm making some improvements. I'm making it stronger. Okay, nice. Okay, so uh, the plan is to, instead of one sp spike, instead of one thing, we want to add another one mm -hmm. because it looks cooler. Okay. So currently this uh, design is already quite strong. The basics are there and uh, it's going to be really strong when we attach it to the pole. Yeah, there are three uh, design features for this. Uh, solar arch that are really important for its strength so one of them is those, uh, we have two base poles we have two pieces of uh, stainless steel 360 quality uh, tubes and, uh, we're gonna add another pole somewhere over here and it's gonna be uh, of, uh, Yes, over here to prevent uh, some, uh, some additional movement. And furthermore, we also going to test uh, the thing to the to the pole, the radar pole. And it's so strong. It's the strongest solar arch ever built. How is it coming along? It's coming along fine. Okay. Yeah, it's almost finished now, hopefully. So I think like half a day or so, um, but we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> excited.
it is finished our solar arch as you can see awesome loving it the next step will be that we put on our solar panels so we already uh, ordered the, the solar panels and these are the full black uh, solar panel panels we ordered it's uh, the same as they use on houses so uh, no special uh, marine stuff but it is TUV tested and it has a lot of certificates uh, also for uh, salt water uh, salt water usage so uh, it's much cheaper than the, the stuff you buy in the in the marine stores I think it's one half one third of the price so it's uh, around 100 euros per panel. It's uh, 340, uh, uh, 340 watts. And it really look awesome. And then we had a squall coming. Ooh. So we just had lots and lots of wind. Hello, goodbye and over, over and out. Thank you. 